right, so basic five kicks that we cover here in Defensor Method is the foot jab, cut kick, oblique kick, side kick, and the back kick. So within any FMA reference, uh, we don't really want to kick too high. Uh, you don't really want to kick above the waist, but you don't want to kick too high where it leaves yourself open. So we usually just try to keep our attacks uh, from the waist below. So for instance, the foot jab. So if I'm in left lead, foot jab, I want to hit the pad right in the middle. So I swing the hips, lift up the knee, and I thrust forward. So that's a foot jab, okay? So that's my front lead foot jab, and push back to left lead. Same thing can be applied with the rear foot jab, which is my back leg, where I can generate more power and kick going forward. So same concept, I'm flinging and pushing my hips forward to move my opponent, all right? So certain uh, kicking styles, they like to snap the knee, some like to use the hips, some like to just snap the kick. Either way, I try and practice both. Um, but for like more, the more of a Muay Thai perspective, they like to throw the hip forward. All right. So same thing with uh, the side kick. Side kick is I'm on, I turn my body 180 degree angle, and I fling my hip towards the left. So if I'm gonna use my left uh, left kick, side kick, I fling. So I can do a cross under, cross under, and do a side kick, or if I was closer, I just lift up my leg and then fling up my hip, all right? So I just go up and kick. So that doesn't really generate as much power as opposed to the step where you generate momentum and fling your hip forward. So, all right, so hold on more. So from here, if I go with more momentum, that will push my opponent back. Same thing can be applied where I use my rear, except I'm gonna pivot and kick, okay? So from there, I lift up, turn my body sideways, and I kick. So that's my side kick, all right? The oblique kick, you can put that uh, towards your leg. All right, so oblique kick is uh, usually from the rear leg, and it's coming down at a 45 degree angle. So I'm coming down, that's my oblique kick. Some cells call it the check kick, all right? So this is meant to attack the knee and leg. All right, so move the knee, inside thigh, all right? So that's from the rear leg. When I go, if I use my front leg, I have to do a half shuffle and use that oblique kick. So again, left leg forward, half shuffle, oblique kick, oblique kick from the rear leg, oblique, okay? Next one is the uh, cut kick. So again, some like to snap the knee, some just like to pivot the hip. Uh, some do a combination of all three, um, where they pivot and swing the hip cutting through the opponent. So again, some styles just like to snap the kick, and then hold on for this one. Uh, more of a Muay Thai approach, they pivot and swing all the way through, all right? Where they actually want to do damage and go through the opponent. So that's from the rear leg, left side. Here, let's switch sides. So if I'm left lead, here, if I just snap the kick, I have to do a half shuffle. All right, so that's more of a snapping kick. Doing damage, if I pivot my hip more and go through the opponent, all right, I want to go through the person. All right, um, last but not least is the back kick. So from here, back from, my, from the left lead, um, when I pivot and I turn, I always look over my shoulder, all right? So I always look over my shoulder and I pivot. And then I bring my knee close to me and then I kick backwards, all right? So I pivot, keeping everything tight and compact, and I kick that one time. So I always want to look over my shoulder where my target's at. Here, and kick. So some like to kick with the flat of the foot, some like to kick with the heel of the foot. Here. One more time, here. So that's the spinning back kick. Same thing if I was going the other way, where I'd switch leads, pivot, keep my knee in close, and then throw the kick backwards. So from here, the kick back to your uh, front knee fighting stance. So from the right knee position, here, all right, one more time, from here, okay. When we practice these kicks, we don't want to go past the waist, just because it might leave you open for them to catch your kick. 
or if I go kick too high to his chest, he might catch. That leaves me at a disadvantage. So when you practice this, your foot jab could be at the knee, could be at the groin, or it could be at the hip. All right, foot jab, foot jab, foot jab, cut kick, cut kick. All right, oblique kick, and then oblique kick could also be used to uh, to break down the hip. Boom. And if you have shoes, your oblique kick can hit and then scrape down. All right, so that's gonna be painful. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. <laughs> and same thing with your back kick could be a low line or mid line. So again, if I draw his attention high and I come back and I attack his knee, again, or I can go and attack, attack his groin, or I can go straight through the midsection where I go high and hit. Okay, so since he doesn't have armor, I'm not going full force. So I'm just showing where you can play with all those different kicks and different levels.